Michael, do you have the strategy for the chef challenge? Chef challenge is always a, uh, it's a hit or miss. So it's very emotional. It's a, it's a situation where you have two seconds to decide what you have to do. So it's a spare of the moment. Sometimes, sometimes the spare of the moment is really, you know, uh, it's very successful. Sometimes it becomes a, more of a challenge. You know, your mind becomes more of a challenge than the, than the elements that are given to you. I don't know what they're gonna be. So it's definitely gonna be a protein. There's gonna be a vegetable of some sort. I'm sure there's gonna be a spice. That's usually what they put in there. Uh, so three or four elements that are gonna be presented to us just a minute before we start the, the, the that from famous challenge. We're gonna bring um, our gnocchi. We're gonna make gnocchi there to showcase what we do at Chianti to keep it into in our tradition. The veal ragu is prepared. Uh, ahead of the games, slowly cook. It cooked like four or five hours, so we have a nice, soft, uh, shredded veal uh, with uh, with a nice, uh, with a thick tomato sauce, rosemary, prosciutto. So very traditional, flavorful. Put a little bit of ground Parmesan cheese on top, and we'll grate it right there in front of our guests. So I hope to create a buzz, to create a line. You know, the line always helps to, you know, to, to showcase a little bit of what we are, even if we can be faster. It's better to have people wait for one more second. And it's nice to interact a little bit, make make sure that we have that eye to eye contact, we say hello, we make sure that they remember who we are, they recognize who we are as a group. Alright, the mystery ingredients tonight everybody, bacon, eggs, and duck. Now is the time where we get, you know, finally we get the news of what we're cooking with. Uh, so, you know, we're there just pacing, pacing, pacing because it always takes forever once you're waiting for something. And all of a sudden, so this lady gets on the phone and says, wow, the, the final uh, announcement of the night. These are the three, you know, secret elements. We get duck, we get egg, we get applewood smoked pancetta or bacon. Both me and um, and Alicia were there kind of looking at each other for a second and say, oh, all right, I broke down the duck. And there, you know, broke down the duck and get a couple of pieces out of it, especially the, the breast, you know, is one of the most uh, easy, well, not easy, but let's say sought after pieces, you know, it's very versatile. And then I, get a, I cut off a uh, thigh and leg, so because I thought, all right, let's uh, take off the bone and make a uh, Stuff the fuso, you know, something a little, a little fancy, but let's see, you know, that was a, really a challenge. I had some black rice ready to go. I prepared a base with a black rice as a rice salad with um, bergamot oil and uh, scallions, a little bit of smoked salt, and uh, that created a base for a sliced um, duck breast. You know, four slices of duck breast, nice and crispy on the outside, rare. I prepared a um, a green peppercorn reduction to finish that dish and it worked out just fine. I brought with me a couple of um, uh, cherry, red cherry peppers that are spicy. So with a little bit of sugar, we candied those. So we used them, um, Brussels sprouts petals to, to accent with a little bit of bright green on the plate. The second dish was the, the most challenging one because we had to use all three ingredients to stuff the leg, shallots, salt, pepper, a little fennel, uh, smoked salt. Uh, we wrapped it, I wrapped it with a bacon just to keep it close, keep it close together and then roast it really quickly in the pan. Preparing the rest of the plate we did the hash uh, with uh, smoked bacon and um, Brussels sprouts quickly saute some fennel just to warm it up and get all a little bit of those juices out so it becomes a little sweeter. And then once the, the duck leg was cooked, slicing, slicing three pieces, drizzle of, uh, of uh, truffle oil right on top, and we got eggs so I poached an egg. At the end, uh, with the help of Alicia, we did this uh, quick cream and we candied the pancetta, the bacon, as you call it. Uh, so that with a little bit of candied peppers, the, the beautiful custard, egg custard, nice and sugary, a little bit of whipped cream, and that was the, the third final dish. 